Good day, my name is Kai San Munoye. I'm the computer engineer. Uh, specifically, I'm a software engineer. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to use a link to display data from a data source on your web form. So in this tutorial, it's going to be data from Excel table we are going to display it on a web form. So first, we are going to move data from Excel sheet to the uh, um, Microsoft SQL database, and then we display on a web form. But the question you want to ask yourself is, what is link? Why is it necessary to use link to work yeah, these days? First, link stands for a language integrated query, and it enables us to query any data store, be it SQL, XML, document, objects in memory. And why is it necessary? Because it helps us to work with different data sources using a similar coding style. So it means that when you are going to access data from SQL, you are going, you're not going to be concerned about the structure of the data in SQL or the structure of the data in XML document or the structure of the data in objects, in memory objects. You are just going to use the same coding style to access this different data store. You're going to use just one specific syntax, right? So a uh, link query normally written in any .NET supported programming languages, uh, C Sharp, VB.NET, uh, J Sharp, and so on. So this demo is actually a practical one, and we are going to go through these eight steps now. So I'll like to advise you to follow along. If it is too fast, you can pause the video rewind and make sure you follow. It's just uh, a brief video and I'm sure you are going to find it easy. Step one, import data from Excel to MS SQL Server and so on. So let's gradually follow this step. We are not going to skip anyone. So let's start. Just have a look at the data I want to display. This is data of uh, Mononyo family. Everyone here, they are my siblings and me. Here you can see number six. Uh, I love them all. Uh, just want to let them know. Okay, so let's go to display this data on a web form. So step one, this is a cell sheet, Excel sheet. I name it family uh, that XSLX, right? That's an Excel sheet. So the step one, we want to open Microsoft uh, SQL Server, and I'm going to use a database called uh, practice right i'm going to import this excel sheet into this practice database so open the database right click on it right click on, on it and just say tasks and go down to import data I'm sorry not export right click and say Im uh, import data right okay next now from data source, just choose uh, Microsoft Excel. Okay, so Excel file path and Excel file path is on my desktop. My desktop. And I named it family, family, as you can see here. So so select the Excel version, not important. Face row has column names, that's right. So I like to do this thing. The database is practice and uh, Windows authentication, that's fine. And just go. Copy data from one or more tables of views, that's fine. Uh, think sheet one contains my data. Okay, preview. That's fine, as you can see. Okay, so next run immediately nice finish uh, i think everything is successful so i close so coming to tables cdbo sheet one i like to rename it to something more meaningful i like to call it fa family yeah. all right so family is the name of my table so this data in this table here I'm going to display on my web form using link. Okay. So let's go back to the steps. Step one, import data. We've done that. Then the step two, create an empty web application project. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm using Visual Studio 2013. So just open it and go to New Project, right? Choose Visual C uh, Sharp, come down to Web, and then Visual Studio 2012, and choose Empty Web Application. I'm going to call it a uh, Link uh, Class or Link Tutorial. Or let's let's say link video. No, no, link tutorial. Okay, that's the name of this uh, project, and just say okay. And the project is created. I'm going to add to the project. I'm going to add a white form, and this white form is what I'm going to use to display the data from this data source. I'm going to call it uh, defaults. Default.aspx, uh, that is the extension for web forms. Okay, so let's look at the steps. So we've been able to do step one, import the data from Excel to MS SQL Server. And step two, create an empty web application project, add a web form to the project, right? That we have done. All right, so uh, maybe I'll just uh, uh, a style Okay, let, let's not worry about style. Let's proceed to the next step. Says uh, add link to SQL classes to the project, right? Okay, so I'm going to say from the project, click add and add new item. Just go go to the to the data um, and then choose link to SQL classes. I like to call it uh, demo. Okay, let me call it family. So there is a designer that handles uh, the conversion from link to the underlying SQL. So let's add this to our project. Okay, so we have this uh, beautiful designer here. And so the next step, the next step is to connect to your database using Server Explorer. So coming to my database, I'm going to the Server Explorer already open. So just connect to my database. The database is a, a local database. I think the name is a relation uh, 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 practice. So if I drop down. Right there, I see practice, and that is the database we are going to use. Test connection, connection uh, was successful. Say OK. Right. So going back to this, the next step, drag the table to the designer. So the table we imported from Excel, we call it a uh, family. So just go ahead to drag this table onto the designer, and then. Uh, it gives us the schema right there in the designer interface. So go ahead to save. And that is just fine. The next step to follow is to drag. OK, we've done this. Write the link where to display the data. Test the application. But before we do that, please, I skip this step. And that is to add a grid view control to your white form. So go ahead to drag a grid view control from the data tab onto your web form. Okay, there we have grid view control. Okay, so going to the designer, I want to format this grid view. Uh, this is optional, but let me just format it as professional. All right, so the next step I'm going to take is to now write the, the link query, and that is the important part. Please pay attention to this important part of writing link query because that is the essence of this video. So, writing link query is very simple, is uh, easy to understand, easy to learn. So, what I'm going to do, I'll just say grid. Sorry, sorry. So. Let me just show you something that is very important. When we added this family designer, 
it created these two files, layout and designer. So this in lay in the in, in the designer that the the C sharp file that is the 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 code behind file for the designer we have family data context family data context that is the class that contains the mappings the class that contains the data assets uh, uh, codes and modules and APIs so the family data context is what we are going to use so to get our data using link. So we are going to create an instance of this family data context. So we go ahead to say family data context. Let me call it family data equals new family data context. Uh, okay, so so now this family data, we are sure it contains our data that we want to display. So now go ahead to write the code to bind the data to the grid view. Grid view one dot data source equals now now comes the link query. So it goes like this. Always the link query starts with the from keyword and ends with the with the select statement. So we say from family data, sorry, from from items, because this family data contains items or rows. Okay, from from okay, let's say family members. Family members from family members in family data dots right dot families sorry let me check the name of the table okay uh, in in dot families just give let me check the name of this okay <clears throat> I'll explain this later on so it ends with selects family members is as simple as that is as simple as that so just go ahead to say create view one dot data bind okay so just take a look at this from family members in family data that families select family members now this family is supposed to be the name of the table now it's it's it's, it's pluralizing the, the the name of the table to indicate uh, the number of uh, family members so it simply makes the name of the table plural right we'll talk about this in the second demo so go ahead to save and go ahead to build the solution after building then I'll go ahead to run this. So let's see if this is going to be displayed on our web form. And that is it. Everything displayed. No SQL statement written. We just wrote two lines of of our link query and then we have our data displayed. So let's review what we've done. We've gone through all the steps. We've tested the application and we've displayed data. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I hope this video has been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please check back for more, more videos on application development and, and other topics. Thank you.